leads the people in the journey for 40 years. But Joshua will be leading the people to conquer the land. To conquer the land. Yun ang calling ni Joshua. So itong klaseng calling nito ay nakakatakot na siya. Kaya ito para po sa iyo, Carlo, bagong kasal ka. Okay? Nakakatakot yan. Okay. Sa inyo din, na wala pang asawa, nakakatakot din. Bakit hindi kayo makakatakasawa? Okay. Okay. <laughs> nakakatakot yan. There's some lots of uncertainties. Okay. Sa mga may asawa na, nakakatakot din. Thou shall not fear. Okay. <laughs> shall not fear. So, <laughs> kasi hindi mo alam, baka step leg, patigat din ang ulo ng mga asawa mo. Okay? Like the Hebrew people. So, let's see then, kung paano encourage the Lord, si Joshua, dito sa nakakatakot na calling na ito. Lahat ng calling na nakakatakot. Walang calling na hindi nakakatakot. But, I would like to tell you, in every calling, there is always a promised blessing. Hey, amen. 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 And, and God is not obliged to explain to us the nature of the calling. Every, every time God calls, wala siya explanation. He only confirmed the call by way of His promise blessing. So this is Joshua now. Okay? So, what is the, the first promise of the Lord to Joshua? Verse 3. Anong sabi niya? Every place that the Yeah, I will give you one. Every place where you set your foot. As He promised Moses, your territory will, be, will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Yopard is all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. Okay, so ano yung una? Victory, verse 3. Number 2 is what? Extended territory. Blessing on. Number 3 is what? Number, verse 5. Napakaganda ng promise na to. No man, no one shall be able to stand up against you. Yeah. Walang pwedeng tumayo at babara-bara sa harapan mo Kasi I am your shield Sabi ni Lord Kay Abraham pala I am your shield Ibig sabihin, pag shield yung Panginoon The sentiment, bago tumama yung bala sa'yo Si Lord muna yung tatamaan May shield Amen? So walang pwedeng tumayo Do sa harapan mo No one can stand Up against you Sometimes, often times, I think promise it. All the time. All the days of your life. Amen. Sa lahat ng panahon sa buhay mo, past, present, and future. So, bakit naging ganito yung promise ni Lord? At bakit dapat siyang paniwalaan? Because the Lord verse 5. Para ba sabihin niyo, tanongin niyo ako, pag sure, Pastor, pag sure. I'm sure about this. Amen? Verse 5. Masayang mo verse 5. Si Ronald. Now, focus ba? Focus ba? Utok ba? Kaya nanalo tayo. Because of utok ba? Focus ba? Verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you for a person. Wow. Oh, As I was with Moses, I will also be with you. Wow. So, sabi, sabi ni Lord, just while you have been there, kasama ka ni Moses sa lahat ng pagkakasawa, lahat ng crisis, lahat ng crisis ng buka, that you are a living witness kung paano po kayo tinulungan by releasing my power to you. Amen. So, kung ano yung ginawa ko kay Moses, I will be doing it with you. Bakit? What is the guarantee? I will be with you. Okay, because I will be with you. Amen. Kasi, kasama mo ako. And I will what? Never I will never say I love that word. I love that word, never. Kasi hindi niya sinabi, I will, I will not leave you. Hindi niya sinabi yan. The word is so clear, even in Hebrew Bible. I will never, never. Basta pag sinabi natin never, never say never, di ba? Ito tao. Okay. Pero si Lord, pwede siyang sabi ng never. Kasi ano siya? He is truthful and a very faithful God. I will never leave you. 
nor forsake you. So here is the first encouragement of God to all of us for the year 2017. What is the first encouragement of God to Moses in verse 6? Why Joshua must be very strong and be courageous? Because you will be leading my people to what? My stubborn people, my hard headed people to what? To inherit the land. I know what's in that though. I swore to your forefathers. So what is this? This is this encouragement is based on being founded in what? In the past promises of God. Amen. Amen. Past promises of God. I swore to you what? To their forefathers to give them. Ilang taong prom promise ito? Ilang taon na napangako ito? Time na Abraham to this time. How many years? These are more than 500 years promise. Kasi bakit natin nasabi yan? The, 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 the Hebrew people stayed in Egypt for 430 years. Oh, 430 years. Okay, Joseph pa. Oh, kay, nag-travel pa sila for 40 years. So, five to 600 years itong pangako na to. Ngunit, Kaira, itong pangako na to. Basta si Lord ang nangako, kailanman ay hindi napapako. Amen. Palakpakan mo si Lord. Basta si Lord ang nangako, hindi. 600 years of promise. But the Lord never had forgotten the promise. Hindi na nalilipan ito ang promise ng Lord. So what is, how does it apply to us? Listen to this very carefully. Paano natin na-apply ito? The Lord is encouraging all of us to what? To always cling and be founded in His past promises. Ibig sabihin dito sa Bible, the Lord God has, has many promises in His words. Past promises to His people that is very applicable to us as His people also in the present time. Amen. Amen. So be strong and be courageous. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, be strong and be courageous. Be strong. Ulitin mo ulit. Lakasan mo. Be strong and be courageous. Why? You need to be very strong, be very courageous because okay, base this what? This this strength and this courage in the past promises of God in His Word. Six hundred years of promise. But still, it is very, very real. Sa buhay ng kanyang mga anak. Okay, so huwag natin sabihin, wala pang computer during the time. Applicable pa kaya ito sa akin ngayon? Of course, yes. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, yes. 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 Because our God is an immutable God. This promises was founded once again in the nature, in the attribute of God. Ano yung nature ni Lord? Ano yung attribute ni Lord? He's a truthful God. Hindi siya pwede mong sinuwali. He's faithful God. God is God cannot change by the course of time. Okay? Tayo nagbabago. Nagbabago ng damit, nagbabago ng gupit, nagbabago ng itsura. Okay, by the course of time, but the Lord never changed. He is what? He is an immutable God. Pag sinabi na yun, sinabi na yun. At you can count on it. Amen. Amen. So be strong and very courageous. And, and always what? Papansila. Okay. And always what? Cling on the past promises of God. Now let's go to the next promise. To the next encouragement. Verse 1. Verse 7. Okay, Holy Spirit, right? <laughs> You really cannot say no to that. 
strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Proceed. 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 Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do it, everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> Good. Okay, John, you know the secret, John? Meditate. Okay. Again, there is a word what? In verse of be strong and be very courageous. So, kung yung verse 6 is founded in the past promises of God, verse 7 is founded in what? In the present things that we need to do. Yung kanina, verse 6, past. Ngayon, ano to? Present. Be strong and be very, be very courageous. Be careful. So, di mo sa katabi mo, be careful. Be careful with little eyes. Be careful. Be careful to what? Uh, be careful to be careful to obey the law. Yan ibig sabihin nito, be careful to what? Be careful not to hurt the feeling of God. Yes. Because yes. if you disobey the law, you will be hurting His feeling. Okay? Mm -hmm. So be careful not to hurt the Lord. When you obey, then God will be happy. When you disobey, then you will be what? You will be hurting God. That is the thing. So, it is the, the present tense that we need to do in order for us to be what? To be very strong and be very courageous. At sa lahat ng encouragement ng Panginoon dito, ito lang yung may kaatibat na, no, na promesa. At kondisyon. Kondisyon at promises. Ano yung kondisyon? Okay? Obeying, okay? Be careful to obey all the law. And then, and then not, do not turn from it to the right or to the left. Because if you do this, Carl, ano mangyayari? If you obey this, and you will be careful, if you will be careful to obey this, then you will not turn from it, Okay? To the right or to the left, what will happen in your life is, is 2017. Yes, wherever you go. You will be successful wherever you go. Yes. always praying for success. Bakit hindi sinasagot ni Lord? Hindi mo kasi sinusunod yung kondisyon. Tama. Gusto natin, i-claim na natin yung promise pagkatapos yung kondisyon, okay na. Hindi okay. If you want to have the blessing of God, then we need to what? To obey the condition. Okay? So, verse 8. Okay. Verse 8. Verse 8. Just for one, one, two, one. Look at the law. Look at the law. Look at the law. Look at the law. So that you may be careful to do everything we attend in it. Wow, the memory verse. Memory verse. Shut up, the man. Ito. Verse 8. No? Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. And if you mean depart from your mouth, what does it mean? Always. It's always in our lips. Bakit palagi siyang nasa lips natin? Because it is in our heart. Okay? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth what? The mouth speak it. Yung taong para reklamo, ang laman ng puso niya, reklamador yan. Okay? Yung mga taong ano, palaging natatakot, takot yan ang puso niya. Okay? Yung mga taong palaging nagko-complain, ang puso niya ay puro complain. Okay? So, look at the... Ano siya? Ano napakaganda ng promise niya? Okay? So, uh, do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. And then he said what? Why it can never be departed from my mouth? Because you really have to what? Meditate. You have to meditate 
it day and night. Meditation. Ano ibig sabihin ng meditation? Chowing the card. And chowing the card. Ibig sabihin ng chowing the card. Yeah. Nag-uusang ka sa ano? Chewing gum. Parang kalabaw. Parang kalabaw. Okay? Parang kambing. Parang kambing. Chewing the card. Chewing the beans. Chewing the beans. Ah, di ba mo chicken kasi di mo na So chewing it. Tell me to chew Day and one. Day and night. Alam mo yung mga tao na yung Chewing the cut. They enjoy it so much. Nakapikit yan, tapos gagurwa ko ng laway niya. Ang kalabot, you know. Grabe, they enjoy. They enjoy it. Do you enjoy reading the Word of God? That's the thing. Praise God to that. If you enjoy doing it. Amen. Okay? So, if, if you're doing it day and night, then it will not depart from your mouth. Then, if that is the case, you will be very careful to what? To obey it. Then, what will happen to you? Another promise. You will be prosperous and <coughs> successful. Ibang klase. Sabi mo sa tabi mo ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang 